होगी क्लास सिक्स नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द आंसर्स एक्चुअली आप डिस्कस द आंसर्स ड्यूरिंग द लाइव क्लास बट सम प्रॉब्लम हैपेंड ओवर देयर सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम एंड पावर कट वाज देयर दैट्स व्हाई आई थॉट दैट इट्स बेटर टू जस्ट राइट डाउन अगेन द आंसर्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर ए ऑफ पेज नंबर 43 ऑफ योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज नंबर बी of page number 44 of your english grammar book take out page number 43 of your english grammar book now this exercise number a exercise number a first page number 44 i have written here page 43 but sorry page 43 only first sorry so read the following sentences and underline the words exercise number a1 Neha ran to the counter and bought the tickets. Ran, bought. These are the verbs. Okay. Ran to the counter and bought the tickets. So ran and bought. Number two. She went to the pediatrician yesterday. Went. This answer for this question was asked. to me at least 6 times that which is the word here it's quite uh, silly that she went to the pediatrician yesterday went is the word that also i have to repeat so many times number 3 he is driving his car in the wrong lane he is driving okay Number four. My mother is suffering from a severe cold. He is suffering. Number five. She bought me a few books from the shop. So she bought me a few books from the shop. Bought. Number six, Rita is a brilliant girl. Is number seven, the Indian cricket team is playing against Australia today. So Indian cricket team is playing. So he is playing. Then number eight, Stephen Hawking had a sharp mind. So had. So these are the answers you can see. So exercise number A, number one, Neha ran to the counter and bought the tickets. Ran and bought. Number two, she went to the pediatrician yesterday. Went. Number three, he is driving his car in the wrong lane. He is driving. Okay. Number four, my mother is suffering from a severe cold. He is suffering. Number five, she bought um, me a few books from the shop. Bought. Number six, Rita is a brilliant girl. Is number seven, Indian cricket team is playing against Australia today. So is playing. Number seven is playing. Number eight, Stephen Hawking had a uh, sharp mind. So had. Come to the next page. Page number forty-four. I'm rubbing this one. I think you have written. Exercise number B. Read the following sentences. Uh, underline the verb and circle the object in each sentence. A few sentences have both direct and indirect objects. So you have to underline the verb and circle the object. Number one. Girish painted the cottage. Painted. This is verb the cottage. It is object. Okay, number two. 
he won a prize so one is the verb and a prize is the object now children i will take this article along with the noun because uh, if i ask a question girish painted what i cannot say only cottage the cottage because it is a particular cottage the article the it is a definite article that has been used and for the second one also he won a prize so if i ask he won what prize no a prize that means indefinite article we know that the is definite article we have studied before this chapter and a is indefinite article number 3 the farmer plowed the land p l o u g h e d plowed this is verb plowed what the land so this is the object number 3 sorry number 4 the strong wind rattled the windows rattle this is verb rattle what the windows number 5 the cat ate the fish the cat ate what the fish number 6 my niece plays a flute my niece plays plays what a flute then number 7 the soldiers attacked the enemy attacked this is verb attack to the enemy the enemy is the object e n e m y okay number 8 my mother boils potatoes for me boil boil what potatoes this is the direct object potatoes and boil the potatoes for whom for me so me this is the indirect object potatoes it is the direct object and me is the indirect object number 9 the jeweler gave the necklace to her so gave this is the verb okay gave what the necklace the necklace necklace is the direct object necklace to her her is the indirect object number 10 though they have said over here to the just a cycle both the types of objects but here for your better understanding i have made a box for the indirect objects the dentist filled the tooth cavity for her number 10 i am writing here children because i am not i will not get enough space over here so the dentist filled filled is the verb fill what the tooth cavity tooth cavity is the direct object now here this cavity is actually the object but for this cavity this tooth in some grammar books we will find that it has been stated as adjective here but i will take it together so as a compound noun tooth cavity compound noun okay then uh, tooth cavity for her so again here her this is indirect object so other than number 8 9 and 10 you are getting only one object only that is the direct object 
For number eight, we are getting potatoes, the direct object, me, the indirect object. Number nine, uh, necklace. The necklace is the direct object and heart is the indirect object. And for number ten, uh, the tooth cavity, this is the direct object and heart is the indirect object. So children, we have completed this one and in our next video, we will come and we will come to know about the intransitive words. Till then, bye.